Yo, what's up? This is Bullethead. Look, if you are on Mac and you're interested in sampling from your iPad into the MPC software and also using MIDI from the MPC software to trigger notes and uh, trigger audio out of your iPad, I'm gonna show you how to set that up real quick. All right, all right, we're gonna use MPC X. I have an iPad Air 2, an Advance, and a DeepMind 12, all right? All right, the first thing you wanna do now I'm on Mac and I'm on operating system 10.13.3, which is High Sierra. I'm not sure if this works the same in some of the older operating systems. You can try it out and find out, see for yourself. First thing you wanna do is go to applications, go to utilities and click on audio MIDI setup. And see, right then your audio MIDI and your audio interface section will pop up. And if your iPad is plugged in, just use a standard iPad cable or Apple data, data cable and your iPad or your iPhone should show up right here as an audio interface or audio device. So when that happens, just click enable. I've already done that. So, and then you come over here and if you wanna change your properties in your MIDI section, you should see your, your iPad or your iPhone icon pop up. And right there you can name it and you can change your MIDI channels if you want to. All I did was name it. Now there's, a other me there's another method. If you wanna transfer MIDI over your network, you can click on that and you should see your iPhone or your iPad uh, show up right here if they're on the same network because they have to be on the same network. And when you come down here to this box, you hit connect. Now you can route it down here. I, all I chose was MCC public and uh, network iPad air. All right, so we're all set up on this end. Now the remainder of the uh, routing and setting up is done in MPC software. You come to MPC, let's see, go down to preferences and click on audio. Now the first thing you want to do is change your input. See your output, you can leave it alone. Whatever you're using as your audio interface, whether it be an X, the live, RIN, or another device, just leave it be. All right, come to input, you should see iPad. Click on it. All right, and then next go to MIDI. Now you see the network showed up, we could use it as well, but we're not gonna test it just yet. Come down here and click on iPad, whatever you call it, I call it iPad Air. Make sure it's checked. And also come down here and select it as one of your MIDI out ports. All right, I got DeepMind 12 set up right here in the iPad Air 2 set up on, this, on port B. All right. All right, there's one other step we gotta do before we can get actual sound out of the iPad. All right, click your sampler. Or if you were actually using the unit, you just press this button. All right, and you want to hit monitor. See, I already had it on. And on the software, we're talking about this section right here. Just make sure monitor is on. And that will allow sound to come out from the iPad. All right. And in this section, if you just wanted to just sample some random sounds, you would do so right here. All right. But we're gonna go a little bit further. All right, we're gonna set up a MIDI channel and all you do is, is choose a track, come down and choose MIDI. And then next you wanna choose the MIDI device. So you come down to port and you choose one of the four devices that we set up in preferences in the MIDI section. We're gonna choose iPad Air. All right, now let's see. I pre-recorded some MIDI notes kind of help speed things up a little bit plus you know I wasn't able to hold it and play at the same time very well all right so I've got some MIDI notes set up here so we're gonna come over to the iPad now I've got Beatmaker 3 uh, I, IMC IMPC <laughs> 2 uh, and also I've got uh, what else do I have I've got a few others uh, FL studio quite naturally the machine software and a couple of synths. now there's some synths that I really want to get into because I want to start utilizing this method more often myself so that's why you know I kind of figured out how to set this up and I'm sharing it with others who may not know I'm sure a lot of you already know but anyway all right right now you should be able to trigger uh, hear sound coming from the iPad and also when I touch these keys, you should hear it also. Let's come to the sampler section so you can see the signal. All right, 
Now I'm gonna play my keyboard, you should hear it also. I'm not left-handed, so I'm kind of struggling. <laughs> see, as I press the keys on the advance, you see them show up on the uh, on the iPad as well. And you're still getting a signal in your MPC software or your X or your MPC. All right, now, smash program, edit. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna match play and you'll see that these MIDI notes are gonna trigger those same string sounds from the iPad. I mean, even if you change sounds, like I go to the iPad and check, choose another sound. And see, it triggers everything. Now, we've recorded MIDI. So you say, all right, we've recorded MIDI. So what, what do we want to do with it? We want to record it to audio. So the first thing you would do is quite naturally Click on audio. All right. Choose your track and a track is selected. Make sure you arm it. Arm it is just clicking on this button right here to record. All right, you gotta choose an input source. My input source is one and two. So I'm gonna leave it on one and two. All right. So now when we match record, it's gonna trigger those notes that we played and we should get an audio signal and we'll be able to record that audio as an audio track. So we're gonna hit record and hit record start. All right, actually we wanna use the strings. Let me just redo that real quick. Come over here and choose the strings again. All right, one more time, record. Play start. All right, see, we have an audio file. Just to show you that that is what we just triggered. I'm gonna solo it and play it again. See, wasn't much to it, man. Um, I know a lot of you already know how to do all this, but some of you may not. Uh, me, I'm trying to incorporate some more tools into uh, beat making, especially as far as the iPad go. Because there's actually a lot of dope synths on the iPad, and they're a lot cheaper than most of the VSTs that are popular right now. So, And as you can see, the sound quality is superb. It's dope. So, all right. If you have any questions, hit me up, man, and I'll try to help you out. If not, uh, if you know a better way, if you saw me do something wrong, man, Feel free to drop a line and, you know, we'll work this thing out. That's what this is all about, sharing, man. All right, peace.